fullness of the Holy Ghost. We have to understand that if we do not have the Holy Ghost, we are living beneath our privilege. And we have to understand not only do we need the Holy Ghost that speaks in other tongues, we need that Holy Ghost that will keep us from day to day to day to day to day. We need that type of Holy Ghost, not that type of Holy Ghost that just shows up on Sunday morning that has us coming in church looking good, but we are inside, and in the inside of us, we really jacked up on the inside. We need that Holy Ghost that cleans from the inside out. I'm reminded of what Jesus told the Pharisees. He said, you worried about the outside of the cup, but the inside of cup is full of filthiness. We have to understand that Jesus is not worried about the outside appearance yes I know we need to dress a certain way yes I know we need to do certain things so we don't have everything looking like it shouldn't look but God is saying what's going on inside of you that's what I'm worried about because your soul is the only thing that has to spend eternity somewhere the body is going to return to the dust that gave it we have to understand that we need to be preparing our, our soul to spend eternity with the Lord and this is what God is telling us today that my promises will come to pass I know it gets real hard sometimes when God when God is talking to you and when he's speaking to you and everything on the outside is telling you it's not going to happen. I know how it feels that when you have a bill, you know you need to pay this bill and your finances tell you it's not going to happen. But how many know that it's time now to put our trust in Jesus and know that he's going to make everything all right. Even when your loved one leaves you all by yourself, God said it is word uh, that he would never leave us nor forsake us uh, he said in his word uh, that he sticking closer than a brother he said in his word uh, that he would love us better than our father our mother he said when my father and my mother forsake me uh, then the lord will we are sitting around here and we're waiting for somebody to give us what God has already promised us. You listen here, children of God, if God has promised you something, you need not wait on anybody else to deliver you. God delivered you over 2,000 years ago and you need to walk in your deliverance. The Bible tells us that with his stripes we are healed, so you need to walk in your healing. The Bible Bible tells us uh, that if we let this mind be in us, uh, which was also in Christ, you need to ask God to give you victory in your mind. Uh, and that's where the, ma the major battles in your spirit go on, uh, in your mind, uh, because the devil desires to take your mind off that which God has promised you. Uh, but you need to tell the devil uh, that he can't have your mind, uh, because my mind belongs to God. Uh, my mind is what God is looking for and I have the mind of God to say that even though I'm going through trouble trials and dismay I'm still going to trust in God because I know that God is my everything the Bible tells me that he's water when I'm thirsty that he's bread in a starving land that he's shelter for the shelterless and we need to praise God for that even if you need a job He's still right there because he owns the cattle on a thigh. We are sitting here. The Bible is telling us in 2 Peter chapter 3. 